Magnify your name because you are Lord. You are God of all gods. You are the creator of heaven and earth. Father, you took us to sleep last night and you brought us safely into a new day. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. Take all the adulation, Father, because there is none like thee. As we prepare to go out for our different activities uh, this day, Father, we commit each and every one of us into thy care. Father, come and be before us and be behind us. Father, lead us safely to wherever we're going to today and bring us safely back home. Because he said that a family that prays together stays together. Father, we've prayed together, we'll stay together until death do, so, do us part. Father, come and take all the glory that is available because you are the only God that we worship and adore. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Shall we share the grace? With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the love of God, God and, and the sweet Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, abide with us now for the Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and grace shall, shall follow us all the days of our lives, and, and we shall go in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Shall we sit? We quickly go to the Holy Scripture. Uh, to take a morning exhortation and um, we are going to lift that from the book of John um, chapter 3 verse 16 um, Frank what's happening today? Um, I have um, a couple of lectures and then one quiz I'll probably come home after that Yeah. Mm. I think I have a lecture free day today. The World Health Organization is putting on a seminar on HIV and so on. Uh -huh. And um, what about you, Stephanie? That the second year students of my department are organizing a picnic. And I want to join them. Where? 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 Ada the River. Oh, that's part of the school passing through you. Mm -hmm. Good. But it's in all things you have to glorify God. Yes, that. Okay? Um, Carol. Yes, sir. Uh, you are still awaiting the, the SSC result, right? Yes. Hmm? And as the last child of the family, at least for now, you are home assisting mommy and let's have a cafe. Hmm? Yes, that. Good. Well, children, as we all step out today uh, for various activities, I'd like us to have at the back of our mind uh, the kind of family we we'll come from. A royal family and uh, a Christian family. On our part, I and my lovely wife, my darling wife, your mother, we have resolved 
to make sure we provide you with the basic things of life. I'm saying it with every authority. Hmm? Always remember the watchword, our watchword in this family. Prudence, Christ-like, and um, humility. Uh, those are the principles of this family. All right? Yeah. And always remember them. Good. You put up some smiles. We're on the <laughs> breakfast table. Huh? All right. By the way, mom, mom really tried to give us a very good breakfast. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay, all right. I did poorly in the last semester exams, so we are wondering maybe you could help us out this time around. Well, could you define this help? I mean, teachers, or maybe have a discussion class with us or something. Trust me, most girls, all they want me to do is sort out the exam for them. <laughs> We're willing to learn, actually. All right, I apologize, I had the wrong notion. Um, I have a class here. I organize one now and then. I think I have one for 515 years. If you ladies are free, cool. Good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Did she be talking to me or not? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. yeah. uh, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let's go now. Let's go. Yeah. Frank. That guy is the brightest student in our class. I've never really come this close to him. Do you know Inter Continental Heritage? He's a shipping line. His father owns it. What? His father is also his real highness. He will be the one who is sucking him. What's up? <laughs> yeah, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Alisa.
with us and then what she gets is 25. So you go through the short route, you know, brings us to this point. This is actually the process of breaking it down step by step to we get that. You don't have the patience for it, so that's why it seems difficult. It's yes. So you know, these guys, they always count in hours. It's actually easy. Yes, it is. It's so difficult. Well, it's not relatively. It is just a question of everything has to have a formula, right? Mm. This is the standard formula. But it seems inexplicable because it follows the short route. So when you break it down step by step, this is what you get. You know when to apply and what to you not know, use and what to use. You know what always every formula that has to be used in this whole process. Well, it's actually easy. So we also have a couple of things. So we're all in the play. Yep. Yes. Okay. So let's pack it in, guys, and then. We'll meet again next tomorrow. Everybody bring your topic. Okay. We'll discuss it. Find a good follow. Topics we discuss, we enlighten each other, it's knowledge. Yeah, 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 but still, we we'll must work with you. I just want to take you to dinner to show how grateful we are because, or rather, how grateful I am because I've learned so much from you in such a short time. Just on dinner. I don't know. Sub, so I listen. How can you be Okay, exams are around the corner. You can't keep acting like this, you know? It won't pass the exams. Well, I guess he has his own life to live. No, it doesn't work. She's pushing me to be his girlfriend. Yeah, what else can I do? I'll try. Come on, let me walk into the park.
Shortcuts will be your middle name. I just shortcuts. Hey, Mama, Papa, this is a big deal. Hey, man, sir, I'm cool. 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 I'm he borrowed money from you, squeezed money off you, and returned your money. No, it's not <laughs> a lie. Why? Okay. See you guys. Come, See come, you come. Guys. come, come, come. Come, How about my money now? I go with you. How much is that? Go to the How much? I don't understand this. I juggle it. How much? You don't owe me. Go come shake everybody. Bomb me. They go. <laughs> If you don't fear, you go to every day they see me, you go with Tom. So like me now. Oh boy, wait, oh. that's when you need to come in. Oh my god, oh, guys, come on, come on. I, I fucked up. There's something I did to work. What's up? And how dare you stop me up yesterday? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to stop you up. I, I, I was busy, you know, and I, I forgot. I'm online now. You made me look like a fool. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you. Okay. I, I, I just I could tell a lot of lies here, but I'm not. I, I'm telling the truth. I just forgot. I got caught up in things. I waited for over two hours for you, Frank. All right, you know what? Let, let me make it up to you. I'll come and pick you up from your room tonight. You're yeah, right. I don't believe you. I'm telling you, I'll come and pick you up today by eight o'clock. We'll go somewhere nice. I swear. Yes, I swear. Me, I swear to. See, he swears. He swears. Come in to pick you in the evening. God, I swear. Come on, I swear. I do. Who's it Big boys, I swear. Yeah, he swear. Me. Stand up. Can you believe it? See, he's swearing. He has to sit up this side here. Honestly, he's coming. Okay. They know I don't feel. He's coming. So yeah. good luck tonight. Hmm? Promise. You want me to swear again? I will see you. Huh? So will you. Huh? So you have for you. No. I forgot. Don't people forget things? Excuse me, for the first time in your life you're forgetting something very important. Right. What is wrong with this guy? Listen, the thing is a simple case. It's not as if there's a big deal happening. I mean, we're just friends. Wow. Careful. What is wrong? Are you my voice of reasoning? What is wrong? Listen, Dad, I'm fine. Frank. Okay. Um, Frank, I don't want to believe you still have all those puritanical tendencies because if you do, I'm going to be boiling mad at you. Look, I've just done a beautiful She's beautiful, can't you see it? You know that dictionary has been reading, it's really causing problems for him. I don't read dictionaries, I have to read the cards. You want me to remind you? Because of that girl, she's too loose, too free for a man like you. Listen, men flock around her just like houseflies flock on palm wine. See, dear, come on, dear. I don't know what you're saying. Why are you just that, that girl is not what you think she is. I mean, she's just the kind of person I would describe as being very free. You know, she mixes a lot of people and all that. Um, yeah. No, 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 you're going too far. No. She is so notorious with her beauty and is compared to sugar daddies. And, in fact, she's not the kind of girl you should mix up with. Simple as that. Listen, I haven't even made my intentions known yet. I haven't made any move. Uh -huh. And you guys want to start World War Three? So, what's her intention? Well, let me meet her. Discuss with her one-on-one. -on -one. No, fill her out. Then I'll go home and tomorrow I'll tell you guys what happened. No, that's better. No, that's better. Well, let me go. Later, guys. Better. You don't just talk into conversations like that. Right? Ajay, you're misleading this guy. Come on, you are the person getting it all wrong. See, that girl is not what you think she is. All those people you see around her could be family people, church people, kindred people, anything. Uh -huh. 
He's just a free girl who mixes with people, that's all. Okay, she'll be right here, we'll see. You're already watching. study class and then Vanessa took me out to dinner. Vanessa did what? Took me out to dinner, Dad. Who is Vanessa? My classmate. Listen, the devil is locking around, looking for a precious soul to devour. I just hope 
You don't fall victim. Now, you, don't you think you're blowing this out of proportion? It's just a dinner. Besides, I'm my final year, it's not a same thing will happen for Christ's sake. My son, never use the name of the Lord thy God in vain. The Bible kicks against it. So. Frank, what your dad is saying is that you shouldn't keep late nights. For mom, isn't that the whole point? I said I want to move into campus. It will make life easier for me. I mean, my final year, I need to liaise with other students. I need to have study classes. These things, it's just not working out. Yes, you're looking for an ample opportunity where you can have very odd dinner dates with several Venice off campus. Come on, dear. Please, take it easy. Huh? Frank, go upstairs and clean up. You have this on the table. Don't you think that uh, Frank raised on the bottom of it? Come on, Lucy. You know, I know about Frank so much. Have you forgotten that? My wife died mysteriously. I've not given back to you. And uh, you married me. I've been taking care of him since what they said. I loved the mom. But the children gave me. But Frank is the eldest, and naturally, I should love him the most. I know, but I'm afraid he doesn't feel loved, including his siblings. How do you mean? It's true that we raise them in a strict Christian way. But in a world where almost everybody is going crazy, they might seem to be the crazy ones. Are you then suggesting that um, we lay down our guards as Christians? No, no. If you do that, it will amount to inviting the, the, the enemy, Satan, and a platter to sow his seeds of discord. All I'm saying is that I sense frustration in them, in Frank and Stephanie. You know, they are the liberal minded ones in this house. So, can we, can we put paid to this, please, for now at least? My children are supposed to be an epitome of uh, a great Christian family. That I accepted the Igwe sheep, the Igwe stool and all that, is because I wanted to prove a point. I wanted to prove that as much as one can acquire worldly powers, one can also be as humble and meek as our Lord Jesus Christ. It's quite exemplary. It's okay. So, can we sleep now? It's okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, my dear. Come right in. Come in. I've seen you. Come in. Frank, look at the time. This is the second time you're coming back this late. You're beginning to behave like unbelievers. I just went out with a few friends, Dad. What kind of few friends that will keep you out this late? It's very close to midnight. Huh? Uh, the yeah. child of God? Oh, I didn't realize it was this late, Dad. Don't you ever let this be yourself. Yes, Dad. Good night. Good night. That is exactly how it happened. Telling you. Are you happy <laughs> about it? Eh? Happy. I am not happy about it. I'm happy about it. Ah, non so. <laughs> um, Steve, this is my brother, non so. 
and no so meet my girlfriend Stephanie. Hi. Hi. Did you see my Gucci wristwatch? Um I think I saw it somewhere there. Yeah, there. Okay, yeah, there. He seems not to like me. My dear, he only likes fashion conscious girls. Sure, you see now. If you were driving a car, this this wouldn't have happened. At least I would have been in your car. But wait, wait. Come to think of it, Frank. Why don't you drive a car on campus? I mean, your dad is one of the richest men in this town. I find it strange. Well, my dad is a very frugal guy. He just doesn't believe anything should be done for anybody. You know, he thinks everything should be done at the right time. Oh, come on, a car should mean nothing to a man of your father's status. Well, that's true. But let's, he drives some funny car and my mom drives an even funnier car I'm just tired of him he, he's just so I don't want to say miserly but that's what he is okay, I'm telling you, drive. you yeah my driver taught me how to drive since I was 16 my brother and I my baby brother well you know a prince would do anything for his lady has to marry a lady from a rich family background in order to inherit her wealth. Shut up. Doesn't the fact that I love you make any difference to you? I'm sorry to hurt you. <laughs> Listen, I'm tired of people oppressing me in school. I'm tired of it. Hmm. Is that a problem? Why won't it be a problem? Why will it not be a problem? When people are out there enjoying the riches of their family a lot more than we... Why is that doing this to us? But Jesus Christ is the good man we have in our life. Who's asking this? Oh, let me understand something first. Did anything happen today? Some guy that like his parents are just made civil servants was pouring dust on my girlfriend and I in school. <laughs> wait, wait. Hey, Frank, do you have a girlfriend? Are you talking to this balloon head? Get out of this place. Mm. I said leave. Get out. <laughs> hey, Steve. Go. You people will uh -uh. fall into temptation. Please go. Uh -uh. Listen, don't come downstairs until mom and dad gets back, yeah? Frank! Then this girl's getting on my next word. Don't no, 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 forget her first. Frank, you have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I have a girlfriend. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Are you in love? <clears throat> yeah. See? The thing about it is, the harder you fall, the deeper you are with the person. And oh. every time I pray about it and I try to get out of it, it's just not possible. Oh. I'm telling Vanessa is the one. It's human nature, dear. Uh -huh. But what if mommy and dad find that? I really don't care. I'm a big boy, okay? Yeah. Make my own decisions. Besides, I know this feeling is not wrong. You can be wrong. I'm a woman, you know. 
And I know how I feel when men admire me. That's why I'm, I, I'm tired of wearing this Mary Amaka. <laughs> God. Uh, but do you know one thing? I bought some real crazy stuff. You did? Yeah. Really? But that's our secret. So what are you going to do about the cast off? I do what every man should do. I'm going to restore Venice's dignity back. Yeah, I'll trust me. I have a plan. Huh? Dad? Um, I'm traveling tomorrow to the village. For the burial of Paul last Friday. You know you're that old man. Yes, sir. I'm um, going to tell her something, okay? You need your younger ones to take care of them. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so that's where we'll come back. Alright, no problem. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, man. Um, Dad, I was watching CNN, following up on Obama. Alright. Okay, okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. No. Okay, good night. Good night. You just asked me that question. I'm going to drive the car. I don't believe this. Steph, the way you are dressed. Mm -hmm. eh? You know mom and dad won't approve. You know that. I approve. See you. <laughs> and Jacob approve.
My God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. My God. Turn around. I look cute. Thank you. This is so much unlike you. When when did you start all this? Can't you offer me a seat? My dear, forgive my manners. Please sit down. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> You almost took my breath away. I look cute. Honestly, you look sexy. Thank you. So, can I offer you anything? Yeah, anything soft. Okay, soft dream. Um, let me get money. I'll, I'll be fine about it. it. Okay, dear. Oh. Steph? You are the bomb. <laughs> you are the cuckoo. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be with you shortly.
Wednesday. She's gone. Gone how? Where? I don't know. I guess you go home. Mm. No, so. No, so. Are you sure you have not been up to any mischief? and my friend, mm -hmm. I went to our house. He just went across the road to get something. Do you know what happened? Her brother Monso bounced on me. I wanted to rape me. What tale would I have told? <laughs> Steph, you see why we should try and dress decently? I agree with you on this one. No more mini steps. I'll start to throw my Miramate again. You better do.
My bottom plate is out, it's leaking oil. Mom will castrate me, I swear. My dad will kill me. What we can do is look for a mechanic, you know, just around. We can quickly fix it. I don't think it's that much of a problem. I'm sure it can be fixed quickly. There's a mechanic workshop just down the road. You know what? Let me drop you first. I'll manage it and drop you. Are you sure you're going to No, let's go hurry before the oil drop. What oil drop? Come, you managed to drive me to this place. I drive now. I go do now. You cannot go leave them there now. So listen, how much you will take me can run this thing now? Uh, but uh, see, eh, I don't feel do one today oh, because it's already late, huh? But the price is twenty one thousand. That is what we used to fix bottom plates. Oh, wow, for you. I'll be student. Only they look the car. Not me get this car. You not concern me. Eh, now my work I they do. Eh, now twenty one thousand. Okay. How much last? Ah. Uh, Okay, 19,000 last. 19,000. 19. Okay, I'll pack them here. Of course, sure. See, yeah, yeah, Okay, sure. first thing tomorrow morning before 7 30, eh? I go bring um, the deposit. Ah. My card is safe here. Yeah, very safe. Very safe. Just okay, let, let me collect the things I need. Uh, no problem. Okay. 
You see the one for the car? Okay, I beg, come, 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 come. I beg, come first, come first. Come now, boy, come, I beg. Ah. What's the time now? Why you never finish this job now? I'm almost finished. Wait, you're almost finished. Don't be the boots still open like this. Don't worry, make a couple of I'm almost finished now. Which can't you? You're going to put yourself for trouble. I said you can't touch you, they didn't give me that. You can't do it. Okay, that one, that one, you can too. Okay, sorry, just walk, walk. This one. No guys, no guys. What oh about do now? Do now. Where are you coming from with the car? Um, I want to visit some friends. Eh? I went to visit some friends of mine. Mm. Did you hear yourself? Okay. You hear from me? Calm down. Why must I calm down? That the effort of walking into a bed while I was cleaning the pit car keys. Is that not criminal? At least he said the truth. Most criminals say the truth when caught, if you don't know. That's beginning to develop criminal tendencies. My dear, I say you should calm down. Yeah? Let us put everything to God in prayer. You are beginning to act like one who doesn't know God. Frank, you should have told me that you needed to use the car instead of sneaking the keys away. Hey! What am I missing? Mm. Darling, there is no gain saying the fact that Frank is my best child. I love him so much. I know. But don't you think that uh, we need to be a little more flexible with him? Yes, I agree. But then he is the oldest. He has to be very strong to be able to take care of his junior ones. Yeah. You knew how hard it was for me to make money. How difficult it was. And go through history. Children of all wealthy men, or most wealthy men, if I'm not mistaken. Really keep the money or the wealth that was inherited. I mean they inherited from their parents. The simple reason is because they were treated with kid gloves. But for my children, they must be made to realize that life is not a bed of roses. That life is full of ups and downs. That life is full of thorns. You are right, my dear. Very correct. Frank is in his final year. I suggest he move to the campus. At least, there he will feel a little bit of freedom. And so what would that prove to you? To me, Frank is now an adult. Let him feel a little independence, please. 
All right. Um, I will reflect of what you said and. Um, okay. Okay. You went out with that girl again, huh? Yes, Daddy, I went out with that. <laughs> Frank, mm. I don't want to see you get hurt. Mm. You're my man. Okay, Dad. But you see, you don't understand. It's Vanessa. Vanessa is a good girl. Oh, yeah? Very good girl. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Remember, yeah. not all that glitter is good. I know. Okay. Are you coming? Not mentioned, eh? yeah. Just keep on to be a good girl. I continue <laughs> surprising you. Chief, you know you don't have to I just saw Vanessa and she got her to drop her off. And guess what? She was loaded with it. Frank, I told you. I warned you, Frank. I warned you. You just watched her rules. You, you can't carry handed. All these clues. What is this? Eh, uh, you, you, your, your daddy took you shopping, eh? They, they saw you down with your daddy. What am I talking about? They saw you in town with, with your sugar daddy shopping everywhere. Look at all these clues he bought for you. Hey! My uncle, no. That was my uncle. He had been promising to take me shopping. I ran into him in town today, and he fulfilled his promise. Afterwards, he dropped me off. Are you a liar? I'm not a fool. Me a liar? Yes, yeah, you're a liar. Think I'm a fool? They saw you people everywhere in town. Okay. It's ringing. Here, yeah, that's my uncle's number. Speak to him yourself. Take the phone now. You believe me. Frank, you believe me. Can you please stop listening to gossip from your so-called friends? Can't you see they're just jealous of us? And I don't listen to anybody. Frank, it's true. You just have to be careful of the things your friends tell you. In a relationship like this, you have to be deaf and blind to consider things. Some friends, some friends may not mean well. I don't believe anybody. No problem. Frank, no problem, eh? 
no problem. Because I'm an orphan and I get help from my relations. That Nana, I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad person. No problem. No problem. I didn't, I didn't accuse you. I was just asking. No, you're talking about you. You don't call me a liar. I didn't, eh? You call me a liar and then I sleep around. No, I have sugar daddies. Yes. You know what she said now? I mean, I mean, I, 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 anybody can go and shop for you now. What is wrong with it? And then the strange man is not my, my, my sugar daddy. Taking me shopping. No, I didn't believe it. I just want to. I didn't believe. Why would I believe a thing like that? I just came to look at all these things. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You leave me alone. You know I don't. I don't mean it now. It just is. I know you can never hang sugar daddies or anything like that. Well, well, it's impossible now. Hmm? Look at all these things you bought for you. The show is yours. Show is yours. Fine. Fine. Stay away from that girl. Leave Venice alone. You hear me? I've listened to your advice enough. I don't need it. I don't need your snitching. I don't need anything from you. Just stay away from her. I know you don't like her. That's your business. Deal with it. But stay away from her. I'm warning you for the last time. School fees and be happy, okay? How can I thank you? Tell me. Well, I just seen the smile on your gorgeous face. You see, that's all the thank you I need. You know what? You are the best. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks. Listen, guys, let's um, take this to another level. Get dressed, let me take you out, let's enjoy ourselves. Seriously? Yeah, I want to spoil it wow. tonight. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to go for you. Okay, okay. Just, okay. Okay. you guys have a good time. Tell her, 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 tell Thank you for me. Hey, you're back. Thank you, thank you. Listen, I'm going out soon. Let me finish my work. Thank you, my man. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm cool, man. How you doing? Oh, boy, you're too dressed. Why are you going dressed like this? Yes, I uh, have a date with Vanessa. Jesus. So, wait, wait. so, you are telling that all I've been hearing is true that you've been going around the campus, painting the whole campus red with that well, girl? That's what I see, bro. Why are you too <laughs> much? Uh... <laughs> so, how was the tournament? Ah, uh, the tournament. I just collect brooms. Why are those idiots? <laughs> But next time, let me tell you, next time, I'm going to get the gold, trust me. I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Keep the spirit. All right. Look at feed, eh? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
kitchen. Okay. Um, I think I'll be going. I don't think she's coming back in time. Anyway, I was supposed to go out, but it's getting late and I'm, I'm getting ill. I'm not feeling so well. Oh. Where are you coming from? You won't stop in again? What is going on? Are you hearing yourself from? Do you have something against me trying to look good for you? For me? Of course it's for you. If it's not for you, who am I going to be looking for? It looks like you don't understand. Look, I'm just trying to keep your prestige up in the school and, and take it to where it rightfully belongs. Can't you see? Wait, don't you realize how highly regarded you are on this campus? My Frank, eh? Frank Osundu. Most handsome, most intelligent. Ha! If I don't look good for you, they'll say you don't know how to take care of your woman, and I know you don't want that. You don't want people saying that, do you, darling? It, it, it's not so I have anything against you shopping. It's just that you're spending so much money, I don't know where the money is coming from. I spent the money you gave me. You spent the money I gave you? Yes. I yes. thought you said it's for your school fees. You didn't pay your school fees. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I used it for my school to pay my school fees. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you pay for your school fees, where did you get money to, to, to buy all of this? I, um... <laughs> my, my uncle. My uncle that lives in the States, he, he sent me some dollars. I'm sorry I, I didn't I didn't tell you. I didn't think it was important. How many uncle in the States? Yeah, I just didn't think it was important. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Add up. I'm sorry. There's something about this that doesn't add up. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to get you. I didn't mean to make you angry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I, I don't have any problem with you spending your money. It's okay. I understand. Let me help you unpack. Things look so expensive. I have lost my way. Vanessa, don't you think you're too hard on Frank? How do you mean? With all due respect, Frank deserves your true love. Slow down a bit and settle down with him. As the only man in your life. Look, Nkichi, you know that I like Frank very mm -hmm. much. But the truth is, I cannot put all my eggs in one basket. Liar. Onyo to Anya. Jishi Ogo. Ima no to Anya. Hmm? Kichi, have good hand. Look, have good hand. Just do it for me, for God's sake. God. Uh-huh. Where was God when men used and dumped me? Where was God when I lost my parents to an accident that left me an orphan? If not for my town union that gave me this scholarship, where would I be? And this is a God that I served, I worshipped, I believed in while I was growing up. Could you please? You see, Alisa. We all lose faith one time or more in a lifetime. But that does not mean you should turn your back on your creator. Someday, you will go back to him. Just know that Frank is crazy about you. Please, please, let's just, let's drop this topic, okay? Because you don't listen, that's your problem. Okay, my God,
Hi, how are you? 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 How Divine, are you sure? Because it will be bad if something is happening to my son. You are a good friend. And you keep it away from me. Your Highness, I'm, I'm quite sure Frank has no problem. He's okay, man. Yes, sure. Bye-bye. Condition is critical and we need some blood transfusion now. But unfortunately, we don't have any in our blood bank. So, if you wish us to donate some, you go with the nurse so that we can run some tests in our lab. This way, please. my son and what is wrong with him? I am Chief Emmanuel Dundu and here is my wife. Our son Frank was born here today. He has some acute malaria infection. Malaria infection? How? He seems to be sick in a long time and taking drugs over the counter. Oh my god. How come I didn't know this word? He lost some blood due to severe attack of high fever. Oh my god. So I mean he didn't, he didn't, he didn't tell him what kind of how to do to remedy this situation. We've given him some injection to stabilize his temperature, but the most important thing is the blood transfusion. Unfortunately, we don't have any blood in the huh. Hey! Oh God, don't run my son. So what do we do from here? Doctor, what, what happened, doctor? doctor? This is due to the fact that we have some victims of accident on our hands. But we do, other son, they're on the way. Chief and madam, we have to take some samples from you. You might donate to. All right, doctor. Doctor, no problems. Anything you want, we'll do. Even if, if it, it means fly him out of the country, no problem. But just do what, what you think you can do to bring him out alive. It hasn't come up to that, Chief. Adequately, we can take care of your son. Please do, please do. Please do. Please do. Please do. Please do. Please. please come with me. All right. Right. Vanessa, you are the only one that have the same blood type with Franks. And I encourage you to donate your blood so that we can start transfusion immediately. Won't I be sick? No. You'll be just fine. You're a healthy young lady with lots of blood. And apparently all we needed from you is just one pint of blood. And by the time it finishes it, our order would have arrived. But why me? What about the others? Vanessa, others don't have the same matching group with him. And moreover, in blood transfusion, it is important to give a patient a matching blood. Otherwise, the red capsules will agglutinate. And that is to say, stick together. And that can kill a patient. But you said the you said his father is of the same blood group with him, so... His father has the same blood group with him. But he's an old man. And he's suffering from high blood pressure. It's a high risk to take his blood. I, I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm not feeling well. Please, my daughter. 
Help us, please. Mama, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not well. I'm sick. I can't do it. You can help. You can help to save his life. But since you say that you're not feeling very well, I don't have any option than to wait for the arrival of uh, Dr. Blood. Yes, I'm, I'm really not feeling well. I can't do it. I'm sick. Doctor, I am ready to call this bluff. Whatever it will take to get this bluff, just tell me. I need that blood right away. My son must not die by the special grace of God. Amen. All right? Do whatever you can. It's okay, Chief and Madam. I'll do my best. Please do. I was wondering, mm -hmm. going by when you called and said you were coming. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome, my dear. Welcome. 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 Thank you. At mm. least the Lord God has led you through school mm -hmm. and you serve this me. That's right. It's cause for Thanksgiving and celebration. That's, right. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. But hey, well, before you call the whole women cancel, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to do something special for me. Please cook me a meal tomorrow. <laughs> Not the chef. <laughs> <laughs> You with your own hands <laughs> cook me a meal, a special meal tomorrow. I have a surprise for me on that. Surprise? Mm -hmm. Have you landed a job? Well, there are prospects here and there. That. Come on, that's not a problem. You're not know made for this class. Ah, that's a big way so much. That's okay. That's okay. Besides, I love surprises. I know you do, Mom. You like the surprise. Uh. Guys, I bought you a lot of stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Frank, the lady you, you, you say you're waiting for, will she still come? Yes, sir. The food is already getting cold. I know that. She, she usually not this late down. There is traffic. Should be here. Traffic. Oh. Wait a second. I'm not sure. I can't work. This is my dad. Good 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so, so, thank you. so, my parents, my place, the other family is out. Oh. Okay. So, oh. Well, since you are here, let's go to the dining. when Frank was admitted in the hospital. Right. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Uh, I just finished my service in Kano. So I'm, I'm going to try and look for a job here in Enugu. What were your parents? They're both dead. She's an orphan man. I was severe ties with them. They refused to help me when I was in school. So, so how did you manage to pay your school fees? Frank helped me. Well, what, what the things that I I did the little I could, but the person that I should actually take credit for for it is um. Her uncle in the U.S. and her aunt in our job. Um, no. You told me your oh, aunt in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot this trip. I'm an uncle and an aunt. So how was the service? The uh, service was okay, but we didn't know. Okay, okay. How do you mean? It's so serene, it's so peaceful. Don't worry. Once you're a member of this family, it's your home too. Aww, how sweet. <laughs> Frank, I trust you. And I believe in you. And I just want to let you know that no matter what happens, no matter what you go through, I will always be with you. And you'll always have my support. Now the beholder. But I tell you something, Frank. A physical beauty is not uh, enough to judge the worth of a woman. You have to look beyond the wrapping paper and check out the entire package. More so, um, don't allow physical beauty to obsess you. How long have you even known this lady, Preston? I mean, Vanessa. Well, I've known her for years. There, we were in school all through, and. Um, we kept in touch all through service. And how much of the family do you know? Yeah, she said her family is dead. And she's not close to the rest. 
Now, I don't know if you were as eagle-eyed as I was to notice what she wore when she came around this afternoon. I'm not a, 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 a fashion merchant, though. But I figured out that what she wore was more, what, more than 250,000. 250,000 Naira. Which, by every means, is not cheap. And going by what she told us, which she corroborated, she couldn't have registered the money, even with her relations. So how come? I don't know. Well, she's been working for at least a year. It's my understanding she might have thought things like that. As a youth couple, right? Now, if you judge financial capability by that, it's nothing. And I want to tell you that if you have not been funding her, definitely other men must have been doing the same. So what are you saying, Dad? What your father is saying is that the girl is too expensive. That's right. You just invited her to lunch. She came dressed as if she was going for a fashion fair. That girl looks and acts too materialistic. She is not a wife material at all. I don't agree with you, Mom. You don't know Venice. I know her. There's nothing wrong with a woman looking good. Women like to look good. Come on, let's not judge her like that. We care about each other, that's what's important. By the way, this lady that is driving you crazy now, was she not the same Vanessa that, that, that bluntly refused to donate blood for you when you needed it? Well, she, she wasn't feeling well then. Well, under different circumstances, she would gladly give her life for me. Mm. Your son, your son is madly in love. She has gotten into his vein like hard drug and he cannot do without her. I begin to even wonder whether she wants to give him something. But this is not my son I used to know. Anyway, that's first unfortunate. It's a pity. Just a pity. Since you're interested in working in the family company, you have to be ready to be dedicated. Alright? Yes, and it's a good thing I'm still around, so I will teach you whatever you want to learn about, about the place. My motto has always remained efficiency and consistency. You're going to work. I'm Mr. Juku, as a store manager. Mm -hmm. As for your salary and other monuments, the count will not sort that out. But as soon as I leave here, I will talk to Mrs. Asabe on that. Um, I will offer you the V boots and accommodation anywhere of your choice. Yes, as for the V boots, yes, but your mother will buy another car. I will ring out, expect you later. If you put them? Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my son. You see, every good father has to take proper care of his children. See. Especially when a child or the children are as good as you are. You are. For the marriage issue, Mama, Princess Mama is coming to us. Come to the house, sir. We'll tell you what happened. Welcome, Princess Emma. The last time you came with your father, my son Frank was in faraway Casino State, serving this great nation. It's nice to meet you, my parents. Likewise, Princess. 
pleasures on my Frank? Here is Princess Emma. She's very vast in African way of life. And also a Christian. Very happy for her. She must make her dad very proud. Anyways. Um, dad, I um, I need to go check on the chef. Make sure dinner is ready for him. What, what is the name? Mwa. Beauty. Beauty. Um, Carol, my son, go and get dinner ready for beauty. <laughs> So, how is your daddy? It's fine. Do you mention me to him when you get back, right? I wonder what a young woman like you know about marriage. Because you seem quite young. Really? Yes, you are. Mm. By every standard. Mm. So tell me, what is the role of a wife in a man's life? <laughs> okay. If you marry me, mm -hmm. I'll be under you. And I'll do anything the prince pleases. You do anything I please. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen the movie Coming to America? Yeah. You seen the movie? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Wow. What's your favorite part? Okay. Where the bride was introduced to the prince. Absolutely. That's my favorite part too. You know why I like that part? No. Because she was barking like a dog. Hmm. A dumb, stupid, retarded dog. Yeah. That's why you like it? That, that is, is a picture, it's a personification of stupidity. So, let's enact something. Hmm. Uh, let me check first. You just said a moment ago that you do anything I ask you to do. Anything for my prince. Anything for your prince. Yeah. Alright, my princess. Let us start this way. I want to put your loyalty, your obedience to the test. Okay? I want you to bleed like a goat. Will that make you happy? That will please me greatly to no end. Okay. Let's go. There's no time. <laughs> We're going to get married, right? Okay. To bleed like a stupid retarded goat. Meh! No, no, no. It might be a while. No, no, no. I want a big ugly goat. That's a small goat. Meh! No, no. That's a small useless goat. I have no use for small goat. I'm a prince. I like big goats. Mountain goats. Um, and so like a goat, a big one. I don't do that in my palace, but for you, anything. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a different palace. So bleat. Okay. <laughs> Meh. Good, okay, that's more kind. So we can do much better than that. Meh. Meh. We'll go, keep going, keep going. Meh. Keep going, keep going. Meh. Don't stop, don't stop. Am I doing it right? Yes, you're, you're doing better than I expected. Okay. You're coming back. Let's come to have a drink of water and come back and we'll continue the conversation of our candy man. Oh, okay. Face to the wall, to, to the wall. Face, face, face that side. Oh, okay. Mad! Louder. Mad! I'll give my train. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Mad! Dad. Mom. I am asked to see you because I want to discuss a matter of um, great urgency. One I believe is paramount to my life right now. You see, I've come of age and I want to settle down. I want to settle down with a woman of my dreams. And that woman is Vanessa. And I want your support. Frank, my son, for all the projects a man embarks on, Marriage is the most important, the most challenging. Which is why the Bible said that he who finds a wife or a woman finds good thing. Yes. A woman makes a man to be more stable at home. 
enterprising and, and, and industrious and progressive. But the question remains, who is this woman? How can we find one? There are many fishes in the ocean. How do we pick the right woman? She's the right woman. I know. We have mutual respect for each other. We share sentiments regarding love and what look and perspective to life. It's it's the same. I'm not wrong here. She's the one for me. I just want you to bless it, to support it. My son, perhaps you don't know that love is not the be all and all in relationships. A time will come in the course of this relationship of yours. You gotta find out that you need more than love in your partner to survive. That brings me to the issue of do you know who she is? Ask yourself this pertinent question. Who is Vanessa? What's her background? What's her foundation? What's her upbringing? Not until you know all this, you now begin to make a choice. Can she stand for me, stand for me in times of trouble? When, 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 when the going gets tough? Because marriage is all about uh, until life do us part. We've talked about this consistently and recently she said it again. That she'll stand with me, come thick or thin. Regardless of the situation, she will be with me. And I know. Yes, you believe her. You don't know that there will be a storm in the course of this relationship. There will. Evidently, I noticed it in her the last time she came around. She had so much interest for wealth and affluence. And that makes her a vain woman, as far as I am concerned. And this is why we are saying that she is not the right woman for you. Maybe you should look elsewhere. Because we mean the best for you. You are our son. We cannot deceive you. Our business, our interest is to make sure you have a woman that will make you happy and make the entire family happy. That is what we are saying. It's not that we are depriving you from getting married. No. Marry yet, but let it be the right woman. And as far as we're concerned, Vanessa doesn't have the qualities of that right woman we're, we're, we're thinking about. That she's the one for me. I wear this shoe, I know it pinches. I understand her better than most. She understands me as well. What should be paramount here is how I feel. My love for her, her hers for mine. What else? She... It's, it's come to a point right now where this is becoming precarious. Because with or without your support, eh? I will do it. I can't do it alone. I acknowledge that. But I cannot leave her either. I don't want to hear of this separation. I cannot live without her. Not, 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 not that balloon head you tried to send to me. You better hear it. Hear it. We are not supporting you. One bit. We are not supporting you, not because your Vanessa is not beautiful or educated. No. The family interest is at stake here. She has shown herself selfish and unreliable. The blood transfusion showed me all I needed to know about her. A large family like ours needs a kind of woman that can hold it together. Your Vanessa cannot do it. Why? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. okay we're warning you you can see how happily married i i i i your mother have remained and that is what we wish you but this is going on okay if you ever come back i just want to give you a father you raised me well and i'm not a child anymore i wasn't what i did vanessa i found you an bro was Go see. Yeah, about what's happening. But I want to get a, I want, I want to even, 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 even do more than that. Okay. But question.
I'd like you to accompany me to Felicia's compound. I want to perform the um, one carry ceremony. Are you talking to me? Did I hear you right? I'm dead serious, Dad. Sit down. I don't understand. Sit the ceremony. Frank, my son. I worked very hard at your age. By the grace of God, I'm rich today. Some say I'm very rich. It takes a whole lot of hard work to make money. But it takes lesser efforts and lesser time to squander the money so made. Um, I suffer to make money because I didn't want my children and grandchildren to go through what I went through. I wanted to give them a better life and I don't think there is anything wrong with that. You are my first son and definitely when I'm no more you will step into my shoes. But you will not do that unprepared. That means you have to have a sound and solid foundation. Otherwise, what I labored with your mother over these years will go down the drain. And I don't get it. What are you saying? I'm undependable. Frank, um, you, you really have changed. I don't know what brought about this change, especially during the later part of your school life. Anyway, I am not giving up. Um, what I want is, if you want to marry, you must marry right. Because the woman that you marry has a lot of role to play in bringing about success and harmony in the entire family. Based on that, I am not in support of this woman you said you want to marry. I don't like her. So for that reason, you're biased. I know her better than most. She's a simple, good-natured woman. She just, she just misunderstood when you say her from the start. But she's materialistic and selfish. And before you know it, she made you turn your back against your, 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 your family, which is what we don't want. But you do not know her, so how can you say that? What do you mean by all this? It may not be obvious to you, but that's the blunt truth. I've been able to succeed both in life and business by reading appearances. She started influencing your life way back in school. And there is no, there is no evidence that she will not continue with that. We're talking about a future wife here. I still insist you're all wrong. Frank, it might interest you to know that we have discussed this matter exhaustively in the family. We don't want that woman as your wife. But if you insist on marrying her, you can go ahead. You are on your own. No member of this family will support you. And let me remind you, no parent will watch or do anything to, 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 to hurt his child. Whatever we're doing is collectively in the interest of the entire family. What interest are we talking about here? Your interest or mine? Are they going to marry Vanessa? Is any of them going to live with her? Do they even know her enough? What is the real reason here? Because she's poor and she has no background? She does not befit your, your kingly status? Is that what the real problem here is? So what is it? What is it? Taking positions on a woman you all barely know? How about me? What about my happiness? Doesn't it bear any consequence here? Yeah? It's all about you, you, you alone. And that's why you're so wealthy and not of the reflects in our lifestyle. You put us down every door of our life. Squeeze every one of us in a box when I'm tired of living like that. We all that you and marry her. And just wait a minute. Before you become a runaway prince, just wait for me. I have a gift for you. So 
So, my phone. That's it. Thank you. came down to give me a Bible. A Bible. What about my happiness? You're so quick to point out what is in this book. Which one of them have you practiced? You gave me a Bible. But I don't need it. I know what I don't need you. From today onwards that you cease to be my father. Since you're not going to say anything, I must tell you what is on my mind. I think you're handling this all wrong. Why don't you listen to your parents? Listen to their words of admonition and caution. I think they mean well. Please. I'm still going ahead with the wedding. Huh. Frank, that, that will be taking a bold but stupid step. I don't expect you to understand. You've always had a prejudiced point of view, and it's true. I never liked Vanessa. I don't expect you to understand. And that brings me to this whole business of being here. Why am I here? What am I doing? Why did you leave the baby here? 
Why is I'm asking you why you left the baby here? things like that we're not poor i'm doing everything i can without within my resources i bring money home all the time how can you satisfy me what money do you bring back home how can you take care of me how can you take care of this family from that mega civil servant salary frank when you knew me in school was i like this frank was i like this was i wearing this rag was i like this what is the problem this is not what you promised me. This is not the life you promised me. What you promised me from the for You said you'd be there till the end. You, you, you said you'd be with me no matter the circumstances. I beg you. I don't promise you anything like this. It's just a try, just for a short time. I'm a civil servant. It's a career job and you know it. I've had two promotions in no time. You know I'll rise to the top. My future is bright. What else do you want? You want me to kill for you? Continue like this, oh! I cannot continue like this. Like You've been a little unhappy with what is going on here. With the condition. It's not my fault, neither is it yours. I don't want you to look at it like the end of the world. Because it's no condition that's permanent. We're a young couple. We have our lives in front of us. We have dreams, aspirations. I'm hardworking. I'm well driven. I'm smart. Ambitious. You know, sooner or later it will happen. Then I can dignify you with everything you need on earth. With all the respect I have for you already and all the love. I can contain anything. Anything life throws at me. The severance with my family. This hardship. What I can deal with is this coolness. You know how much I rely on you, how much I need your support. And so please. 
Still trying to find direction Still trying to find direction Like a ship without like a ship I have lost direction Oh, 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 oh I don't know what's going on. I'm fine. Did. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, Vanessa. Ever looking graceful. Yeah. Like this. Oh, come on. I don't know, like this. You are beautiful. Don't you know that? Trust me. <laughs> I don't believe. I do. Yeah. So you roll this machine. Come here. Well, this is about the cheapest in my garage, you know. Yeah, I just use it to run about errands, you know, get a little around on the street. <laughs> well, as you can see, I've really made it, you know. I've been around the world, travel around. I was in, I was in Johnny's book when I heard about the baby. Whoa, my little girl. Uh, you come to daddy, come and hide by your wedding. Okay, come to daddy, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. So how's it? Hey, meet up to like, uh, I went to school with him. Oh, <laughs> beautiful girl. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's been like crying. She's a little hungry, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Frank, mm -hmm. is this where you reside? Yeah, this is my house. For real? Mm -hmm. I don't believe you've gone that cheap and you reside in this kind of dilapidated old house with cheap flowers around. Come on, Jero. I mean, there's nothing wrong with living here. <laughs> Not even my get my old house. I'll tell you, Jero. You've made, you you made your point. Um, we're going to church. Yeah, we're going to church. Are you tracking? Oh, well. <laughs> Well, it's funny. My car actually started this morning when I came down to warm it. You know how cars, even a new car like this can start. I started it, the car will start. But it's not too far, so we decided to walk in. Anyway. anyway, let me not disturb you guys from your church service. I, I have some business to run around now. I'll, I'll call you, I'll come okay, see you guys okay. later, okay? Adieu. I hope you bought something from you. I'll come I hope you bought something from you. Baby, relax. See, I'll call you, I'll give you a call, uh -huh. and I'll take you to a shopping mall, okay. and I'll spoil you, okay? <laughs> Looking forward to that too. Yeah, I'll see you later. Um, Ajara, are you heading our way by any chance? Uh, this way? That yes, way? just just the, the winners uh, at the beginning of this. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm taking this way. Uh, I'm not going that way. You couldn't give us a ride? Okay, no problem, no problem. We got it's not fair anyway. Can you move? Let's, let, listen, listen, um, Vanessa, we're running late. Can you hold the, uh, the, the umbrella? The baby's hot, that's why she's been crying. Well, I need them, and hold up. Protect your child from the sun. Nonsense. See your mates. See your mates. They are driving cars. You're trekking to church. Stop it. There's nothing wrong with trekking. You're adding weight anyway. You can do some trekking. Like a bird without a I have lost my way. I can't find my way. Yes, let me let you know. I'll keep tricky. Guess three. So, um, buy food stuff. Um, you're going to the um, market today, right? No, not today. I thought you said there's no food at home. Yeah, uh, Ajiro is coming to take me shopping today. Yeah, you you're right. Are you against your friend taking me for shopping? Oh, you're jealous. This is preposterous. This there's no point in addressing this. It's crazy. Joke of the century. You are jealous. You are jealous about his accomplishment. Nonsense. Well, if you have a problem with this, why didn't you say it in front of him? You were there when Nigeria promised that he was going to take me shopping. Well, you're a married woman. I don't have to tell you things to avoid. Things like your friend taking me out for shopping, right? Frank, since I married you, I've not bought anything new for myself. I'm still wearing old clothes, old jewelry, old shoes, things I've had since school. And that's how many years ago. Yet I'm supposed to be married to the heir. No, I'm not. Look at me. I used to be very comfortable, Frank. I used to be very comfortable and you know that. I'm not used to living like this. Frank, I'm not used to living like this. I'm being forced, forced to manage. I don't know how to do it, Joe. Eh? I don't know how to do it. Go out there and do what other men do to support their families. Eh? Look, look, look at that, Joe. Look at that, Joe. See what your brother is doing! Yes, you can sit here before him! Nonsense! Don't sit your tired of all this nonsense!
Yeah, Mr. Osondu, straight to my office. Okay, what did you say? Mr. Osondu, Sir? you are four people. Did you go through this file? I don't think you did. Because if you did, you, you will know you have become a problem to this department. Just three days ago, a, a file by you was returned, and now this. What is the problem? Wait, you, you, you know how sensitive your position is in this department. You know files from you are forwarded to other ministries. You want to think you're incompetent? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I really, I really didn't mean it. It was just a slight oversight. I mean. What is your problem? I'm having family problems, sir. Listen, everyone has family problems. You're a man. Such a family problems are at home and not in the office. Yes, sir. Listen, repeating this kind of costly blunder, I will not hesitate in putting your, your, your name among the list of those that will be returned. And you are aware that some staff will be returned soon. Oh, God, please, I'm, I'm so sorry. I need this job. I, I just started a new family. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I will, I will redo it all over again and I will submit it in good time, please. Okay, please. Now, I don't know what you have to say about this. Good day. Since when? Since morning. Jesus Christ. I have been My baby's hungry. Yeah. I've eaten. I'm hungry as well. You know what? I need to go and get us something. I have wasted all this precious gift. Trading on so dangerously. Oh, I wish I had one. Yes! Are you crazy? 
Are you not ashamed? Yes, have you lost your senses? Yes, sir. Yes, I've lost my senses. I've lost my sense of happiness. I've lost my sense of getting what I want. All because I'm marrying you. Oh! What are you saying? Then you regret marrying me? Is that what you're saying? Don't let me say what I want to say. Don't let me say what I'm going to regret. Stay with me. Take a look at me now. Yeah, Linda, to my office right away. Sir. Yeah, is this another of Mr. Osondu's blunder? Yes, sir. So, so he didn't want to with him, not give me a title. But I can do what a real man would do and find a way to, to support, 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 support your family. Talks of downsizing in the ministry for a while now. It finally happened. I didn't think I'd be affected. Uh, Frank, I, I thought you were the vice star of the ministry. Well, there are certain nights, stars don't shine. I guess Vanessa must have contributed to that. She must have nagged you out of her concentration and dedication to your work. I'm sure of that. What is wrong with you? Must every misfortune be about Vanessa? Huh? You think that's fair? Frank, I know she has always been your problem. Right from school days. Till she strained the relationship you had with your parents and your siblings. Frank, I keep telling you, go home and make peace with your people. Your pride will kill you. Can't you see you have made a mistake? Can't you? I made a mistake? Is that what you're saying? Yes. I guess the money wasn't enough to satisfy her needs. You know, I've really had it with you. What is your problem? Why are you talking to me like this? What gave you the right? Because I'm in your house? You're speaking to me like this? Talking about my wife like that? Frank. What, what am I doing here? What the hell am I doing here? What? What? Frank. Frank. Hey! Frank, I'm sorry. Hey! Frank! Frank! I 
Roger, you have to help me. I have nowhere else to go. It breaks my heart to watch my daughter hungry every day. I can't feed my family. I can't go back to my father. You know who I am, what I stand for. It took me every ounce of my pride to come here. Well, Frank, I'm your friend. You don't need to speak for that. What are friends for? I mean, if I can't help you, why am I your friend? But the issue here is, how exactly do you want me to come in? I want you, I want you to bring me in. Business. Bring me in on all this. I don't even need all this. I just need enough. Something that will be sufficient to feed my family, to hold my head up as a man, guarantee my daughter's future. It's not asking for too much. Frank, do you know what I do? I mean, do you know what I do? Do you know how I made all these things you see in here? I mean, two serious importations. I mean, importation of big machineries, you know, like caterpillars, you know, tractors, cranes, and all that. So, how do you expect to come into when you don't even have a dime? It's very, very capital intensive. Okay, not to worry. Are you actually sure you want to do what I do to make money? I mean, if I ask you to do anything, are you ready to get into any business, no matter what is involved? Well, I see your spirit is very willing now. Because what I do is far, 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 far away from what I've been telling you since. I have a business proposal with a German. If it goes through, you may not have to worry about money anymore. Really? Was it not the same Nigeria you accused me of flirting with? That's probably wrong. I hope this goes through. I pray it does. If it does, our money worries will be over. Yeah. Everything you need, your visa, your passport, I mean, everything that you will be needing for the travel. Hmm? Like, Frank, if you do this and succeed, believe you me, your life will turn around. Hmm? You become a big boy like us. Dress fine. Buy good cars for yourself. Eat good food. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only reason I'm doing this, Ajay. I'm doing this for my little girl. Well, whatever. But don't lie, that there's a reason why you're doing it. Is to turn life around. As the little girl's life will change. Yeah, she will have a future. Thank you. Again. Best of luck.
Are you sure you want to do this? In her is everything you need. Your visa, your passport, and everything that you will be needing for the travel. Hmm? Frank, if you do this and succeed, believe you me, your life will turn around. Hmm? You become a big boy like us. You dress fine. Buy good cars for yourself. Eat good food. <laughs> That's not the reason I'm doing this, Haja. I'm doing this for my little girl. Well, whatever. Problem lies that there's a reason why you're doing it. It's to turn your life around. As the little girl's life will change. Yeah, she will have a future. Thank you. Best of luck. Like this house? It's so how would you like to leave it in a house like this? Yes, I would like to live here. What's going on, Frank? Well, your dream just came true, baby. I paid for this house um, yesterday. Every cube of the 45 million of its worth and uh, the papers were signed yesterday, so it's yours. And I bought it in your name too. What big now? Every bit of it. Eh. Oh, oh, oh. Every Frank. Now, now, now. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh you know, I know what you've been through with me, and this is my gift amongst many more to come. I love you. Listen, you know what? This is just the beginning. There's money. Yeah. Yeah. It's crawling everywhere. I smell new money. Whatever you want, point is yours. Seriously. You know that TI video, my favorite video? Mm -hmm. MTV mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can have whatever, whatever you, you want. want. Uh -huh. Be that girl in the video. Whatever you point at. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> we'll go shopping. Shopping where? eBay, internet, Gucci. 
give this what, whatever point. Okay, it's it's yours. I, I, you know what? I give you two million. Buy whatever you want. You know, fill your wardrobe. Okay, I don't like the way you're looking at me. I'll give you three million. Go do what you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. Uh, we'll throw big parties. Parties? What kind of parties? We're having a housewarming party. Here, trust me. It should be the biggest in the state. Not my word. You can throw one after that every two weeks if you like. Okay. We'll travel to London, Paris, Rome. Milan, Johannesburg, Brazil. You know, baby. I thought my wife had game, but now I'm obviously wrong, baby. You Get out of here! You don't know how to spend money, it's obvious. Okay, you know what? Uh -huh. You know what? I'll think of you. Oh, you I'll have to think, think about it. Yeah, whatever. I'll I thought think right now you get it off I your head. I'm thinking you were going to be crying. Me? Take me to my new house. My problem is how to spend this money, alright? <laughs> Thank you for being by me all this time. Thank you for taking care of me. Yeah, I propose a toast. The finest woman alive. I have wandered through the past without a sign, trying to find my way back home. Oh, oh. Now I have lost my discretion, but it wasn't mine. What do you really do? Why do you want to know? I mean, everything. The, the, the trip, the business, your, your partner, this money. How do you import some exports? What do you import and what do you export? I don't understand you, you know. You said you wanted money. We have it now. Lots of it. Doesn't matter. Why well, don't you think I deserve to know what you do? Some stories are best left untold. Ask no questions and you find no lies. Try me. You might be surprised. I do drugs. I deal hard drugs. That's what I do. That's the import and export I do. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind it as long as you don't get caught. Was. Look, this country is hard. And anything anyone does to, to make ends meet and to survive doesn't really matter. Vanessa. Are you ashamed? It's okay. Trust me. I risk my life a lot to do this, you know. I know. And I know you do it for me. You do it because you know. You know, this will cost a lot of money. I know, but it's an investment. Yeah. 
Listen, it's a great idea, like I said, but um, here's what we do. And I just started uh, my own um, businesses. So give me a couple of years, let me sit properly then. Just two years, we'll, we'll hit you with yours. Why do you always do this, Frank? Do what? Why do you always do this? I hate it when you do this thing, and you always do it. Anytime it comes to whatever I want, you start stalling. Just to open business for me and tell me to wait for two years. Frank, let me wait forever now. What's the point? Let me wait forever. In short, you know what? Just leave it. I'm just don't worry. Keep your money to yourself. What is your problem? I'm not saying you I'm not going to do it. I thought this plan is for you and I. For our baby. Frank, I said forget it. I don't want it again. Don't you understand? I said give me a little time. I will sort it out. That's how it's done. One must feed off of the other. It's okay. I'll borrow the money from somewhere. I'll look for the money and start it myself. What are you thinking I'm borrowing that kind of money? Do you know the amount we're talking about? Whatever. There are people who are willing to give it to me. People like Ajero. Benny, what did you say? You heard me. What? What? What have I done to deserve this? Why do you always treat me like trash? Yes. All I do is love you and support you. I've supported you from your final year in college till now. What haven't I done to show how much I love you? I severed links with my family, my friends, everybody I know. I've been through hell and back for you. What have you ever done for me? What have you ever sacrificed for me? Why are you always breaking my heart and making me feel bad? Because you think I'm a slave to you because I love you? Frank, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being a kind and good husband. Take your daughter.
Yeah, Vanessa, I heard what happened and I had just come back immediately. Frank is in jail. Oh, yes, don't worry about getting him out, okay? It only cost me a little money, but I'll get him out. I'll do everything within my capability to get him out. I see, Vanessa, Frank is my very good friend, okay? And I'm gonna do everything within my capability to get him out. Oh, Vanessa, this is not you. What happened? Why did you just let yourself go? You don't care how you look any longer. You were very beautiful woman, very captivating, and believe me, you were still are. Remember way back in school, you used to be the most beautiful girl on campus. Huh? See, Frank might be in jail, yes, but it's not the end of Please, Vanessa, don't start. Don't, because I hate to see beautiful girls, especially you crying. See, I am here, and I will make things right. I'm ready to make you start living again. Okay? Okay? So wipe your tears and stop crying. All right? Oh, Franco. See, Vanessa, do me one favor. Just get up, go into this room, put on something beautiful and nice. I want to take you out to a Chinese restaurant now. What am I dressing up for? Oh, come on. You're dressing up for something because I want to get you out of this mood. <laughs> don't say no. Come on, don't say no. Just get up. Okay, I want to get it off this mode. jail until he finishes his sentence. I mean, he's so unfortunate he has been made a scapegoat. Frank does not deserve this. Oh, Vanessa, you are the person who doesn't deserve the punishment you're going through. I mean, do you want to kill yourself because of Frank? A man who deliberately jeopardized his life and that of his family by going into drug trafficking? If he had come to me for money, come on, I would have given him enough money to start himself out. Vanessa, you've been too nice to this guy. You've been very nice. You deserve something better. I mean, you need to enjoy your life. It's too short. Come on, Vanessa. Come on. Stop all this. See, I am here for you, okay? And I'm going to see you through this, all right? Huh? Good. What are you doing? Oh, come on, Vanessa, why ask can say you know I've ever loved you mm -hmm. all through our university mm -hmm. days. Would you leave me prison? You're a devil. Get out of my house. Excuse me? I said leave my house. You asking me out of your house? Ajay, get out of my house. Do you realize what you're doing? Because Frank is going to rot in jail. I mean, he's going to rot in jail. Get out!
Marcus. I hate it when you do this thing, and you always do it. Anytime it comes to whatever I want, you start stalling. Just to open business for me, you're telling me to wait for two years. Fuck. Let me wait forever now. What's the point? Let me wait forever. In short, you know what? Just leave it. I'm just don't worry. Keep your money to yourself. What is your problem? I'm not saying you I'm not going to do it. I thought this plan is for you and I. For our baby. Frank, I said forget it. I don't want it again. Don't you understand? I said give me a little time. I'll sort it out. That's how it's done. One must feed off of the other. It's okay. I'll borrow the money from somewhere. I'll look for the money and start it myself. Why do you think you can borrow that kind of money? Do you know the amount we're talking about? Whatever. There are people who are willing to give it to me. People like Ajero. Annie, what did you say? You heard me. What? What? What have I done to deserve this? Why do you always treat me like trash? All I do is love you and support you. I've supported you from your final year in college till now. What have I done to show how much I love you? I see weird links with my family, my friends, everybody I know. I've been through hell, I'm back for you. What have you ever done for me? What have you ever sacrificed for me? Why are you always breaking my heart and making me feel bad? Because you think I'm a slave to you because I love you? Frank, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being a kind and good husband. Take your daughter. to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Father, I present your son to you, Frank, Lord, 
Lord, you are the only God that we know, the only God that I serve, the great I am that I am, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the ancient of days, Father. I commit it into thy hands that you take up the control of all the problems going on, Father, Lord. Father, that he shall be released from that jail in the name of Jesus, Father. And I don't have any other person to talk to but you, my Lord. I don't know any other God to serve but you. God, I hear my prayers when I hear the cries of your daughter. Father, take control in the name of Jesus. Father, for you are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, Lord. I have no other person to talk to but you, Father. Take absolute control of this situation, Lord. For no evil fashion against us shall prosper. Father, for you are the great I am that I am. Father, for you, are, you have given us the, the, the power to train on serpents and scorpions. Father, take absolute control of this situation. Father. Father, take absolute control, but I believe, Lord, that your son, Frank, shall be released in the name of Jesus. Father, he shall be released from jail in the name of Jesus. Father, he shall be released from jail in the name of Jesus, Father. And I shall continue to worship you. I shall continue to praise you and bless you and glorify your name. I'll take it to France. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's alright. Stop crying. Come on. God bless you. It's alright. Everybody's perfect, alright? Stop crying. Take a look at me now. Oh, oh, oh. Take a look. Man, how are you? I'm fine, Your Highness. This is why you came. I was almost on my way out for a, a Lafala festival before I sighted you. I knew something was amiss. Any problem? Well, Your Highness, I brought um, Frank's wife and your granddaughter. My granddaughter? At last. What's your name? Yes, 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 uh, Mr. Your Highness, Vanessa has something to tell you. I see. More ears. of this family for all the heartache they have caused. I know I shouldn't have married your son without your approval. But that was when I was careless. That was when I was carefree. That was when I didn't know the Lord. for all the headache and of course we're really sorry I know it might be difficult I know it might be difficult for you to forgive us but just know that now I seek the face of God and the face of this family <laughs> sorry uh, um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ why he was on the cross of Calvary. He forgave all those who persecuted him. Man, who am I, a man mortal, to do otherwise? Get up, my daughter. No. No, no, no. 
No, I'm not worthy to be called your daughter. You are. No. You are the mother of my grandchild. This is why I'm eight years. Oh, years old. <laughs> um, Divine, that reminds me. What about your friend? Your Highness, he's, he's abroad. I hope there's no problem. The, the person you traveled with was caught with cotton, Your Highness. Hey! Jesus Christ! Broad is the road that leads to destruction. There's not much we can do for him apart from praying for him. For God to see him through. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what is it? So the Jack, get the doctor! So what? Where the doctor, Jack? Get the doctor, Jack! 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 Get the doctor, Yes, yes, right now. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh God. Dad, we are here. Darling. My dear, I'm here. Jeff. Yes, Dad, I'm here. Where is Carol? Daddy, I'm here too. Frank. My darling wife, my wonderful children. I tried my best to raise a Christian family. A Christian family where love and unity prevails, the love of God. I'm not disappointed in any way. Frank, I know with time he's going to realize that I love him, just like a good father would love his first son. <laughs> Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa, you are part of us. Just yes. remain your state of steadfast love with God. It's a miracle making God. I'll be full of you, please. Please, please. Please, my stop talking like this. You're scaring us. When the Twilight drum beats, mortals must answer. What drums, Dad? What mortals? You're scaring us, Dad. Stop Jeff. talking like this. Yes, Dad. I'm here. Please, people, let's talk to the family. <laughs>
a long story, but the summary of it is that they really didn't find the drugs on me. I was always careful. I had a conduit that follows me. I struck a bargain and said if I could lead them to the kingpin, to a Jero, they would let me go, and that's what I did. So, where is that Jero now? See, on their hands. They're probably on their way back to Holland for trials, to speak. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you. And you. Me. They let me go. See, I'm consequential in the equation. I'm, I'm nobody really. The kingpins are the ones they're usually after. And I in this situation served the purpose. They, they've wanted him for a long time. Angel. She's with your mother and Carol. Why? Sweetie, a lot has happened since you left. I sought the face of God and found him. I'm a changed person. No more living on the first line. A straightforward way. Steph, Carol, Jeff, and Mrs. Osondo, each to choose an estate of their choice. To Frank, I am leaving my Bible, the Word of God, and all the treasures we need for him. I told you. I told you. I told you we should not have come here. What are we doing here? Sweet, sweetheart. Look at this. Sweetheart, please calm down. No matter what, he was your father. Let's just take the man. He was not my father. He hated me. Frank. And he hated you too. No. No, Frank. Come 
humiliation is this? Frank, please, it's a gift from your dad. Do it for me, honey. Do it if you love me. I'll take it. And don't leave this cost, please. What did I ever do to deserve all this? What did I do to deserve all this? All I did was love him. Why does he hate me like this? There's something in it. Supersedes any will I must have drafted. If ever Frank would discover it. To Frank, my first son, I give custody over all my properties. He's in a position to allot what he fails to his mother and brother Jeff. In essence, what he gives them is the rest of the property they will inherit. Frank is heir to all my property. Where is about this? Yes, I actually I know. You love Frank so much. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, 
mama say I wish I did what father say Oh Still trying to find direction hey. Still trying to find direction Like a ship without like a ship I have lost my direction 